going in. I'm just going to kind of ride this out and see what happens. You with me? But it's funny, if you really press into this, it gets even weirder and crazier. You know, well, why won't you go to the doctor? Because what if you find something wrong? You think, really, that's kind of the idea, you know. You, you should go then. But kids don't do that. My kids, when they were younger, they'd get a hurt elbow, they'd announce it to strangers. Excuse me, I got a boo-boo. <laughs> You know, they announce it to neighbors. They're not ashamed of their hurts and all that. In fact, a band-aid. It was magic, right? Think of it, Daddy, I hurt my arm. Well, let me see, that looked like it enjoyed I, I know, but I hurt it. Well, there's no bruise, but it hurts. Can I have a band-aid, Daddy? It's a badge of honor. And, and I don't know who did this. But when I meet this person one day, I've got issues with him. Whoever put cartoons on band-aids, right? Oh, Snoopy or whatever. I mean, a car, oh, it feels better. I don't have time to solve that today, so, so we'll just move on. Kids don't hide their hurts. Adults often do. And often, they suffer more pain later because they didn't deal with earlier, right? I mean, I've never met a doctor who said, uh, Mr. Mayor, you have stage two cancer and we really can't do much. I kind of wish it was stage four so we could really be aggressive with that. No doctor says that. They go, yeah, we found it early. They don't rejoice in late discovery. But the same way your body may have a pain or this buzz or something that's wrong, our souls get this buzz in them, this, this hurt, and it's called doubt. And so paying attention to the buzzing in your soul might actually bring answers and clarity. See, doubt is a symptom. And don't run from it. Press into it. Don't be so quick to, to shut off the alarm of doubt. And turn your back on it. Examine it. And that's where we're headed over the next four weeks. We're doing a series called Doubters Anonymous. Because the truth is, all of us have doubts. And we just want to kind of put it out on the table and, and push into them and see what we find. Do you know that many of the heroes of the Bible have huge doubts? And we refer to them as heroes. I, I got a Moses. Mm -hmm who led two million people who were slaves out of slavery had these huge doubts whether God could use it. Samson had his doubts. Gideon had his doubts. And Mary doubted whether Jesus really loved her brother or not because he wasn't there when he died. You see, the truth is, doubt is normal. It's when we push it back and we don't deal with it. That we get in trouble. In fact, take out your outline right now. If this is your first time here, uh, we give out these outlines. And today our topic is about with doubt. Okay? And I want to begin with the opposite of doubt. And we call that belief. And there's really three kinds of belief. Uh, you, you'll find those three types of belief in the Bible as you read. You'll find Take pictures of everybody. Don't move it around fast, okay. okay? It's working now. I do have to push a button. There's nothing you have to do other than aim this. Look, can you see it? Yeah. Well, what is this? Don't don't touch no button. Just okay. hold it. Don't put your hand in front of the right. thing there. Right. I got it. Okay. Just show the uh, the. Uh, the, the bouncing thing. Just aim it like show these people here. I am. There you go. So all the people show the, the bouncing thing after we yeah. go by. Okay. I follow orders good. That's that. Show this side now. Huh? Move it. There you go. Move it like if you were aiming a gun. 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 Aiming a gun.
gun. I, I don't know how here. to aim a gun. Look, show these things here. I am, honey. Right straight. You don't even have to do more. There you go. <coughs> I'm doing it. You won't I'm leave me alone. Watch this I'm, I'm fine. I'm cutting everybody's head off, I think. Oh, they got cotton candy here. Yes. They got cotton candy. <laughs> there's how. That's the minute. We're going to advertise to the church. That's what we're doing. There you go. Good deal. Amen. They got cotton candy, hon. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. So what you need is some cotton candy. What is this table? Oh, he's wearing a Washington. Thank you. Take care. She's she in the video? Yeah, she's the video right. girl. All right, take a picture of everything, honey. This I like, the kids sliding down the slide. Everybody. Just go stand around. There you go. I want to see the kids slide. <laughs> oh my god. And this is the camera lady that was taking the picture. <laughs> the little girl fell all the way from the top. My lord. She didn't slide. Are you listening? She didn't slide down. She fell down from the top. That's kind of neat. They're running all this, honey. Yeah, I guess they are. That's cool, though. I would like to do that. Can we get in on that one? Yeah. Want to? Mm -hmm. I'd love Here, to. Hold this again. Might as well just aim it. Aim it at it. I zoom it closer. You can talk as you're okay. doing the talking. Okay. This is the one I would like to get in. This is the one I would like to get in. This is too cool. Oh, there's my cool car, too. See, even my car comes to church. orange car, It even comes to church. All right, let's, let's, show, let's show the Bible. This is very cool. If I could do this, I'd be in this in a heartbeat. You know it? If I could do church, I'll tell you for the kids. If I could do this, I'd be in it in a heartbeat. Wow. Look at that. Look at that castle. This is a great thing. For well, no, let's end it by taking a picture of your car. <laughs> there's my car. It comes to yep. church, too. Not everybody gets an orange car. You no. Know. <laughs> Luckily. Whoops. Okay, you can turn it off now, I guess. <laughs> this, if I could do that, I would be in there in a heartbeat. Okay. Time to show.